If you will turn with me in your Bibles to the book of Ephesians. Si puedes buscar conmigo en tu Biblia, el libro de Efesios. Chapter 6, capítulo 6. I'm going to read verse 14 and, uh, verse 13 and 14. Voy a leer versículo 13 y 14. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Stand, therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace, in all the circumstances, take up the shield of faith, which is which you have, which faith with which you can ex- extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one, and take up the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God praying at all times in the Spirit, with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints. Voy a leer de uh, 13 al 18. Por tanto, tomad todo la de Dios, para que podráis resistir en el día malo, Y habiendo acabado todo, estar firmes, estar pues firmes, ceñidos vuestros lomos con la verdad, y vestidos con toda la coraza, con la coraza de justicia, y calzados los pies con el apresto del evangelio de la paz, sobre todo tomar el escudo de la fe, que con con que podráis apagar todos los dardos de fuego del maligno. Y toma el yemo de la salvación y la espada del Espíritu, que es la palabra de Dios. Orando en todo tiempo, con toda oración y suplica en el Espíritu y velando en ello, con toda perseverancia y suplica por todos los santos. Amen. Let's pray. Oramos. God, it is an evil day that we find ourselves in, and it is an evil day that's coming. And God, I pray that we as the church, as Trinity Baptist Church, that you would make us firm, and that we would stand firm and ready for that day. And that our confidence would not be in ourselves, the work of Christ and what he's done. God, I pray that you would keep us Lead us, guide us, and direct us in your word. And God, let it not just be of a theory, theoretical in our minds, but God, let us apply this to our hearts and our lives. That on that day we would hear, well done, good and faithful servant. God, build your church up this morning. Encourage her, edify her. You be glorified and honored. Jesus, now I pray, amen. You may be seated, put in tomorrow's hymn. Last week, Paul finished our text. The semana pasada, Pablo terminó nuestro texto with these words, con estas palabras. To stand firm. Dice en la última parte del versículo 13. Estar firmes. So I ask you, church, yo te pregunto, iglesia, what do you stand for? ¿De qué paras? What do you stand upon? ¿Sobre qué paras? What is it in your life that you're willing to give your life for? ¿Qué es en tu vida que estás puesto a dar tu vida? What is so important to you, que es tan importante para ti, that you're willing to take up arms and go and fight? 
que estás puesto a tomar armas a ir a, parar, a pelear. There are some situations going on in our country now. Hay unas situaciones pasando en nuestro país where men off the street, donde hombres en la calle, are willing to take up arms and defend things. Están puestos a tomar armas y defender cosas. Earthly things. Cosas terrenales. And, and I've been thinking about this all week. He estado pensando eso en todos What would drive you to the place? ¿Qué te llevará al lugar uh, to say, I'm going to take up arms to defend this. Voy a tomar armas a defender eso. I'm going to stand firm armed. Yo voy a parar firme armado. And I'm willing to lay down my life. Estoy puesto a dar mi vida to protect this. A proteger eso. Here's a sad reality. Aquí es una realidad triste. There's not many today, no hay muchos hoy, that are willing to do that for God's glory. Que están puestos a hacer esto para la gloria de Dios. There, there are some, hay unos, that would do it for a monument, que hará por un monumento, for another cause, por otra causa. There's more that would do it for their families. Hay otros que harán, harán por su familia. But would you do that for God's glory? Harás esto por la gloria de Dios. You need to know, debes saber, that battle is not of this world. Esta batalla no es de este mundo. How will you stand? ¿Cómo vas a estar firme? What are you doing on a daily basis to prepare yourself to stand? ¿Qué haces en, en tu vida diario para prepararte a parar firme? Verse 13, en versículo 13. The word to stand. La palabra firme. Is, has an idea attached to it of victory. Tiene una idea pegado a él con de victoria. The word. So, so it gives a sense of victory. Da un sentido de victoria. That, that you have stood strong. Que tú has parado firme. That you have not given over. Que no has rendido. That you have stood there armed for battle. Que has parado ahí, armado por batalla. You fought the battle. Has peleado con la batalla. And you have been victorious. Has sido victorioso. The command to stand here. El mandamiento, el mandamiento aquí a parar, a estar firmes, is opposed to a cowardly flight, is in opposition a una huir de cobardes. Cowards run. Los cobardes corren. It says in Proverbs, They run and no one's even chasing them. These Proverbios say, están corriendo y ni hay nadie atrás. So cowards do. So que cobardes hacen. I want you to know this. Quiero que sepas eso. In prof the professing Christian church today, in la iglesia que profesa Cristo hoy, there are cowards in the faith. Hay cobardes en la fe. Men and women Hombres y mujeres that will not fight with the weapons God's given us. Que no va a pelear con los armas que Dios nos ha dado. When the culture rises up, cuando la cultura sale at, at the hands of, the, of Satan, de los manos de Satanás, they invite him over for dinner. They invite them para cenar. They make friends, they hacen amigos, and then they run. If ellos huyen, 
When a captain sees his army begin to lose ground. Cuando un capitán ve que su armada está perdiendo tierra. And he sees that the army has a desire to run and flee. Y él ve que su armada tiene deseo a huir. He will, he will lift up his voice. Va a levantar su voz. And he will say, stand. Y él dirá, firmes. Do not give ground. No rindas a tierra. Don't quit. No rindas. And this is the command that Paul gives the church here. Y este es el mandamiento que Pablo da a la iglesia aquí. He just told us, you are in a war. Él acaba de decirnos que estás en una guerra. Here's the context. Here's the context. In chapters 1 through 3, in capítulos 1 a 3, he gives the doctrine of salvation. Él da la doctrina de salvación. He explains how a man is elected and reconciled to God. Él explica cómo un hombre es elegido y reconciliado con Dios. In chapter 4, you have a change. In capítulo 4, tienes un cambio. He then focuses on the church. Él empieza a enfocarse en la iglesia. And he talks about how we apply these doctrines. Él habla de cómo aplicamos estas doctrinas. And that goes to the end of chapter 5 and a little bit into 6. Este va a final de capítulo 5. Y se mete en capítulo 6. But it's starting in, in, in verse 10. Empezando en versículo 10. It's as though he's saying, as you go. Es como él está diciendo, mientras vas. When you leave this place, cuando tú salgas de aquí, here's what you're to do. Eso es lo que tienes que hacer. You're going to war. Tú vas a la guerra. So he commands the church here. Stand. El comanda la iglesia. Firmes. We need this so much in the church now. Nacemos este tanto en la iglesia ahorita. We have been armed, church. Iglesia, estamos armados by the grace of God. Por la gracia de Dios. We don't need secular arms. Nosotros no necesitamos los armas seculares. Our world has nothing to give to the church. El mundo no tiene nada para dar a la iglesia. So here's a doctrine. Here's a doctrine. Satan and his temptations, Satanás y sus tentaciones, must be strongly resisted. Tiene que ser fuertemente resistidos. And not in any way do we yield to them. En ninguna manera nosotros rendimos a ellos. So Satan and his army and his temptations must be fought with. Satanás en su armada y, y sus tentaciones tenemos que pelear contra ellos. Don't even give an inch. No das ni una pulgada. I want to give you some reasons why. Quiero darte unas razones por qué. Look, look at our text today. Mira nuestro texto. Verse 14, versículo 14. Stand therefore. Dice aquí en versículo 14. Estad pues firmes. Having seen the election of God, has visto, han, han visto, or uh, habiendo visto la elección de Dios, having seen how that works out in the church, and uh, ya visto como esta función en la iglesia, and knowing that you have to walk out of these walls, y sabiendo que tienes que salir de estos muros, stand therefore. Firmes, pues. Reason number one, reason number one. We are commanded to stand, not run. Estamos mandados a pararnos, a estar firmes, no huir. And 
1 Peter 5, 9, in 1 Pedro 5, 9, he says, Resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the whole world. He said, 1 Pedro 5, 9, Al cual resistir firmes en la fe, siendo, sabiendo, las mismas aflicciones han de ser cumplidas en la compañía de vuestros hermanos que están en el mundo. You need to know something. Necesitas saber algo. We do not live in a new time. Nosotros no vivimos en nuevo tiempo. It's not worse now than it was then. No es peor ahora que era ahí. We do not live in a society where the Bible is now different. No vivimos en una sociedad donde la Biblia ahora es diferente. You don't believe me, read the Libro of Lamentations. Si no me crees, lees the Libro de Lamentaciones. Read how the prophet laments over the whole land. Lees como el profeta está llorando de toda la tierra. Do you not realize who our king is? ¿No te das cuenta quién es nuestro rey? Jesus Christ is our king. Jesus Christ is nuestro rey. Hallelujah. And we're going to run from Satan? Vamos a correr de Satanás? We're going to run from a world that raises up against us? Vamos a huir de un mundo que sale en contra de nosotros? You've all seen the funny children's movies. Siempre has visto los películas chistosos de los niños. Where there is a kid or a little something, donde hay un niño o una pequeño algo that confronts a big monster que está enfrente de un gran monstruo. And they're going to fight. Y van a pelear. And they get the boldness to stand. Y tienen la, la fuerza para pararse. And they let out a yell, a yell or something, a gritan or algo, and this big monster runs away. He has the monster grande se huye, and they think they've done something mighty. Piensa que han hecho algo grande, and they look behind them, y mira atrás de ellos, and their dad or somebody bigger is there, or su papá, y algo más grande está ahí. They have no clue, no tiene idea. We know! Nosotros sabemos! He is on the throne. Él está en su trono. Why would we run? ¿Por qué huimos? Why would we run to godless ideologies? ¿Por qué iramos a ideologías que son sin Dios? We have been set apart from before the foundations of the world. Nosotros hemos sido apartados antes de la fundación del mundo by the King of Glory, por el Rey Jesús. And we know how it ends. Y sabemos cómo termina. We are to stand on Christ. Debemos estar firmes sobre Cristo. He is our rock. Él es nuestra piedra, nuestra roca. And we are to trust in His sovereignty. Debemos confiar en su soberanía. And we are to trust that He works all for the good of those who love Him and are called. Y debemos confiar que Él trabaja todo para bien a los que aman a Él y que son llamados. Church, Iglesia, you have no reason to run. No tienes razón de huir. You don't have any reason to flee. No tienes razón de huirte. The Great Commission, the Gran Commission. Go ye therefore. Ir pues. I like a question that Sai always asks. A mí me gusta una pregunta que Sai siempre pide. Why does it say therefore? ¿Por qué dice entonces? Because the verse before it, because the verse anterior says all authority has been given to me. Toda autoridad ha sido dado a mí. Ha dado a mí. Because of his authority, go. Por su autoridad, ir. Because of his authority, stand. Por su autoridad, párate. Estar firmes. 
The second reason, second reason. One, you're commanded not to run. Estás, uh, the mandamiento es que no huyes, that you would stand firm, para que paras firmes. The second, el segundo, God has given us armor so that we would stand and fight. Dios nos ha dado armadura para que paramos a pelear. Not that we would yield to Satan and his temptations. No para que nosotros rendimos a Satanás y sus tentaciones. To give over a castle to the enemy. A entregar un castillo a un enemigo. A, a castle that's well equipped. Un castillo que está bien armado. It's shameful. Es una vergüenza. And I want, I want our church to hear me say this. Quiero que nuestra iglesia me escuche decir esto. There are men who have given up the gospel and it's shameful. Hay hombres que han entregado el evangelio. Es una vergüenza. There, there are men who have given up to secularism. Hay hombres que han rendido a secularismo, and it's, a, it's shameful. It's una vergüenza. Because there's no reason. Porque no hay razón. And it's even more so for the Christian. Y aún es más vergüenzoso para el cristiano. Because God has armed us for battle. Que Dios nos ha armado para la batalla. Adam ate from the forbidden tree. Adam comió de la árbol no permitido. While he's in the midst of a bountiful garden, mientras él está en medio de un jardín lleno de fruta. Adam, look at the provision of God. Adam, mira la provisión de Dios. All of it, todo esto, given to you, dado a ti. What does he do? ¿Qué hace? One tree you may not eat of. Un árbol que no debes comer. He eats of it. Él comió de ahí. You know what, the, what many are saying today? ¿Sabes qué están diciendo muchos hoy? I'm going to deny myself dinner with the king. Voy a negar mí mismo la cena con el rey to go have a burger with Satan. Para ir a comer una hamburguesa con Satanás. That makes a lot of sense. Eso tiene mucho sentido. We were dead in our trespasses and sins. Estábamos muertos en nuestros delitos y pecados. He gave us life together with Christ. Él nos dio vida juntamente con Cristo. He rose us up out of the mire. Él nos levantó de la polvo. Of our own sin, de nuestro propio pecado. He put his spirit in us. Puso su espíritu en nosotros. So that you could go to a nasty burger joint with Satan. Para que puedes ir a un lugar fea con Satanás. I'm going to quote C.S. Lewis. Voy a usar una frase de C.S. Lewis. We are far too easily pleased. Estamos demasiado complacidos fácilmente. It's because we don't take time to look in the Word. It's because no tomamos tiempo de mirar su palabra to see what is offered at the banqueting table para ver qué está ofrecido en, en la mesa de banquete. It's a buffet of holiness. It's a buffet de santidad. It's a buffet of everything that is righteous and good. It's a it's un buffet de todo lo que es justo y bueno. Jesus in John 6, Jesus in Juan says, He said, Eat my flesh and drink my blood. I dijo, come mi carne, toma mi sangre. That's what's offered. Es lo que está ofrecido. He is the bread and he is the wine. Es el pan y es el vino. I, I don't understand it. No entiendo. Why would men give up the grace of God? ¿Por qué hombres dar, rendir la gracia de Dios? To drink 
from a broken cistern, a tomar de una cisterna que está roto. It will not satisfy. No te va a satisfacer. Number one, we're called to stand. Numero uno, estamos llamados a parar. No, number two, numero dos, we do not have a reason to run. No tenemos un razón de huir. Number three, number three. The Christian safety is in resisting and standing. La seguridad del cristiano es resistir <coughs> y estar firme. So many have bought into the lie. Muchos han comprado la mentira. If I buy what they're selling, I'll be safer. Si yo compro lo que están vendiendo, yo voy a ser más seguro. They'll like me more. Me van a caer mejor. They'll accept me into their circle. Me van a aceptar en su círculo. We've forgotten we don't want to be in their circle. Hemos olvidado que no queremos estar en su círculo. I don't want what they're selling. Que no quiero que venden. And so many, muchos, have bought the idea and comprado la idea. If I take off my armor, si yo me quito mi armadura, and I make myself look like them, y yo me hago sentir como ellos, they won't attack me like they attack the church. No me van a atacar como ellos atacan la iglesia. Church, listen to this. Iglesia, escuchen esto. The Christian is only safe while he fights. El cristiano solo es seguro mientras él pelea. All of our armor provided for us, todo nuestro armadura dado a nosotros, is to defend while we're fighting. It's para defendernos mientras estamos peleando. The moment you turn around and run, el momento que tú das la vuelta y huyes, you are uncovered. Estás descubierto. You've got a breastplate of righteousness. Tienes una coraza de justicia. You have a helmet of salvation. Tienes una yemo uh, uh, de salvación. You have a shield and a sword. Tienes una escudo y una espada. And when you turn around, your back is uncovered. Y cuando tú das la vuelta, tu espada es descubierta. Hebrews 10.38, Hebreos 10.38. But my righteous one shall live by faith, and if he shrinks back, my soul has no pleasure in him. Ahora el justo vivirá por fe. Mas si él retirare, no agradará mi alma. Do you see what that text says? ¿Ves lo que dice este texto? You can be loved of the world by fleeing. Tú puedes ser amado por el mundo huyendo, but you will be hated by God. Pero vas a ser odiado, aborrecido por Dios. You cannot have the world and Christ. No puedes tener el mundo y Cristo. It's impossible. It's impossible. says, my soul has no pleasure in him. Dice, mi alma no, tiene, no complace de él. You, you'll be an enemy of God. Serás un enemigo de Dios. God takes pleasure in the one who stands. Dios toma placer a quien él para. Está firme. With his armor and fights. Con su armada, armadura y pelea. The one who runs, God has no pleasure. El que huye, Dios no tiene placer. I want to ask you a question this morning. I want you to think on it. Quiero hacerte una pregunta esta mañana. Quiero que pienses en ella. I do not want you simply to say, Wow, that was a good question from my pastor. No solo quiero que dices, esa era buena pregunta de mi pastor. I want you to think on it and wrestle with it. Quiero que pienses en ella y luches con ella. 
God can save you from the attack of Satan. Dios te puede salvar del ataque de Satanás. But who will save you from the attack of God? Pero quien te va a salvar del ataque de Dios? You see, God has armed the church. Dios ha armado la iglesia. He's given us his spirit to keep us. Nos ha dado su espíritu a guardarnos. Everyone else that's not armed, todos los demás que no son armados, are enemies of God. Son enemigos de Dios. And he's coming quickly. Y él venga pronto. If you're reading the Bible reading plan this week, you read that yesterday. Si estás leyendo el plan de lectura, leíste esta ayer. And he's bringing his recompense with him. Y él va a traer su recompensa con él. He's coming for his enemies. Él viene por sus enemigos. God can save you and does save you, has saved you from Satan's attacks. Dios te, te puede salvar, te ha salvado y te va a salvar de los ataques de Satanás. But when he comes for the one who's left his armor, pero a él, cuando él viene, a él quien ha dejado esas cosas. Who is going to save you? ¿Quién te va a salvar? Hebrews says this, Hebrews says, we are not like the ones who shrink back. No somos los que vuelva. Sure of that, the writer says. Estoy seguro de eso, dice el autor. Where is that security? Donde es esta seguridad? In the Spirit. In the Spirit. In the work of Christ. In the obra de Cristo. But if you take it upon yourself, si tú tomas por tu mismo, if you trust in your own self, in your own wisdom, si tú confías en tu propia sabiduría, if you've not trusted in Christ, si no has confiado en Cristo, then every Sunday, todos los domingos, you might take up what you think is the armor. Tú puedes tomar lo que tú crees es la armadura. And just like we talked about last week, y como hablamos la semana pasada, it's a counterfeit armor. Es una armadura chafa. And you just paint yourself with it every week. It's a little pintas ti mismo con todas las semanas. But when you leave here, pero cuando tú salgas de aquí, you've got to go put it back in the closet. Tienes que regresarlo a la closet so that you don't look like one of us. Para que no pareces uno de nosotros. If that's you. Si este eres tú, he's coming. Él viene. He will in no way forgive the guilty. Él en ninguna manera va a librar el culpable. You must fear. Debes temor. Number four, reason number four, reason number four. The enemy that we have to deal with is only overcome by fighting. El enemigo que nosotros estamos tratando solo se vence peleando. You see, God is an enemy that's won over by yielding. Dios es un enemigo que se gana por sumetir. We were his enemies, the text says it. Éramos los enemigos, the text dice. And now we're not his enemies. Now ahora no somos sus enemigos. To be in Christ, to start in Christ. The devil is only by force and arms. The diablo solo por esfuerza y armas. Why? Porque he's a cowardly enemy. Él es un enemigo cobarde. He seems like he's bold. Él parece que está fuerte. We sing about him being strong. Nosotros cantamos de él siendo fuerte. On the earth, there is not his equal. En la tierra, no hay su igual. And that's true. That's very bad. But he's not strong. Él no está fuerte. He is a thief that is scared every time he sees light. Él es un ladrón que teme. Cada vez que ve la luz. You remember Jesus coming up to the man who was possessed by 
legions of demons. Recuerda que Jesús acercando al hombre que estaba posesado de legiones de demonios. Please don't kill us. Por favor, no nos mata. They do not come to the light for the, for fear that their evil deeds will be exposed. No vengan a la luz por miedo que sus malos hechos sean expuestos. The devil fears Christ. El diablo tema a Cristo. And those who are wholeheartedly devoted to him. Y todos los que han entregado totalmente su corazón a él. <laughs> you remember the seven sons of Sceva? Recuerda los siete hijos de Sceva in the book of Acts and the Libro de Hechos? The, the disciples were, the apostles were casting out demons. Los apostles estaban echando afuera de demonios. Well, these seven sons of Sceva, they wanted to do it too. Los siete hijos de Sceva querían hacerlo también. They find a demon. Encuentran un demonio. They find a, a demon-possessed man. Encuentran un hombre posesado de demonio. Boldly they go to him. Muy fuerte van a él. In the name of Jesus Christ, whom Paul preaches, come out. En nombre de Jesucristo, quien predica Pablo, salte. The dem demon turns around. It's a demonio da la vuelta. I know Jesus. Yo conozco Jesús. I've heard of Paul. Escuchado de Pablo. Who are you? ¿Quién eres tú? They went home naked. Fueron a sus casas desnudos. But that demon was scared of Jesus and Paul. Pero este demonio tenía temor de Jesús y Pablo. That is how it is with Satan. Es como es con Satanás. He is a cowardly enemy. Él es un enemigo de cobarde. He's an encroaching enemy. Él es un enemigo que acerca. And he must be resisted. Y tiene que ser resistido. Every time we give in to the devil's temptations, cada vez que lo rendimos a las tentaciones del diablo, we are leaving an open door. Estamos dejando una puerta abierta. Leaving a door open that he might enter our house. Dejando una puerta abierta para que pueda entrar en nuestra casa. You've all heard the saying, todos han escuchado uh, dicho, the one who plays with fire is going to get burned. El quien juega con fuego va a quemarse. The Christian is not called to play with fire. El cristiano no está llamado a jugar con el fuego. The Christian is not called to see how close to the line of the world can I get and still be Christian. El cristiano no está llamado a decir, ¿Qué tan cerca puedo llegar a la línea del mundo y todavía ser cristiano? How much can I get away with? ¿Cuánto puedo pasar? We're called to be holy. Estamos llamados a ser santos. We're called to look different than the world. Estamos llamados a ver diferentes que el mundo. You, you must look at the mirror of your soul. Tienes que ver el espejo de tu alma. Look at yourself and examine yourself. Mira tu mismo, examinar tu mismo. Have I left a window open? Yo he dejado un ventana abierto. He's crouching around like a lion to see who he can devour. Él está buscando como un león, buscando quien él puede devorar. Are your windows open? Tus ventanas están abiertos. Is there something in your life that you've left alone? Hay algo en tu vida que has dejado that he can grab a hold of para que él pueda agarrar and, and, and use you. Use arte. Please. It baffles me. Me asombro. The questions that are asked sometimes. 
Las preguntas que ha, han preguntado a veces. Is it sin if I do this? Si es pecado si yo hago esto. If it doesn't honor God, flee from it. Si no honra a Dios, corre de ahí. Not what can I get away with. No, solamente lo que puedo escapar de. Uh, what, I, what can I pass by? Lo que puedo pasar. We're called to glorify God. Estamos llamados a glorificar a Dios. He's an accusing enemy. Él es un enemigo que acusa. He is the accusing, acu- accuser of the brethren. Él es el acusador de los hermanos. And we know that. Sabemos eso. His name means the accuser. Su nombre quiere decir el acusador. And yet we fall into his temptations. Y caemos a sus tentaciones. And we put his words in his mouth that he will take to the Father to accuse us. Y ponemos en su boca palabras que él lleva al Padre a acusarnos. It's like when there's a whole bunch of children together. It's cuando está muchos niños juntos. And all the kids want to do something. Y todos los niños quieren hacer algo. But there's a tattletale among them. Pero hay una cuenta chistes entre ellos. And all the kids know, until this person leaves, we can't do it. Y todos los niños saben, hasta que esta persona sale, no podemos hacerlo. They're going to tell on us. Nos va a contar sobre nosotros. Satan is the worst. Satanás es el peor. Looking to accuse you. Está buscando acusarte. Now, ahora. There's two types of thoughts that come from that thought. Hay dos tipos de pensamientos que vienen de este pensamiento. One of you are thinking, how can I do what I do so that he doesn't see? ¿Cómo yo puedo hacer lo que yo hago sin que él ve? So that I can get away with it. Para que yo me puedo hacer mis cosas. The person who thinks like that, the persona que piensa así, is trusting in their own wisdom, in their own works. Is a persona que confía en sus propios obras y sabiduría. The other person, the other persona, is thinking he can accuse me all day long. Está pensando, él puede acusarme todo el día. He's right most of the time. Él está correcto la mayoría de las veces. But my hope's in Christ. Pero mi esperanza está en Cristo. It's those persons that should take up their arms and fight. It's esas personas que tienen que tomar sus armas y pelea. Your conscience is what pulls you down, not the devil. Tu conciencia es lo que te trae para abajo, no el diablo. We talked about that at the first of this. Hablamos de esto en principio. You don't need Satan to tempt you. No necesitas Satanás a tentarte. You don't need Satan to take you into sin. No necesitas que Satanás te lleve al pecado. You're sufficient of yourself to do so. Tú eres suficiente en tu mismo de hacerlo. So what will be your response, church? Que sea, que será la respuesta de la iglesia. Paul writes here, Pablo escribe aquí, Stand firm. Estar firmes. He, he's coming. He's come. He's here. El viene. El ha venido. El está aquí. Stand firm. Para firmes. Do not give in to lawlessness. No te rindes a injusticia. I want to give you three reasons to stand firm and we'll close. Tres razones. Para parar firmes, para estar firmes y terminamos. Number one, número uno. You're armed for it. 
Estás armado por ella. En la grace and mercy of Christ, en la gracia y misericordia con Cristo, He has armed us for battle. Nos ha armado por batalla. His blood has given us these arms. Su sangre nos ha dado estas armas. Use them. Use estos. I was listening to a show this week. Estaba escuchando un uh, programa esta semana. Somebody went to the Southern Baptist Convention for the first time. Y una persona fue a la Convención Bautista primer, primera vez this past year, el año pasado. And they were amazed. Estaban asombrados that everybody in the whole place, que todos en todo lugar, are talking about how they believe the Bible. Como creen la Biblia. The Bible's inerrant. La Biblia es sin error. The Bible's sufficient. La Biblia es suficiente. And this guy says, this hombre dijo, I'm standing there hearing all this. Estoy parado escuchando todo esto. But I don't see much evidence of it. Pero no veo muchos evidencias de esto. And it's like a whole bunch of kids in a living room. It's como un grupo de niños en un sala de la, de la casa. And there's an AR-15 on the wall. Y hay una AR-15 en la pared. It was their grandpa's. Era su, visabue, su abuelo's. He fought the war with it. Él peleó la, la guerra con ella. But now it's in a case. Pero ahora es una funda. And all these grandkids are sitting around the living room. Y todos los nietos están hablando en la sala. Look how powerful that is. Mira que tan poderoso es esta. That's a great weapon. Esa es un gran eh, arma. But they've never shot it. Pero nunca han disparado ella. And that's the way many of us are today. It's the forma que muchos son hoy. You've got the weapon in your hands. Tienes la, uh, la espada en tus manos. You have the arm. Tienes la arma. But we've got to keep it soft and smooth. Pero tenemos que mantenerlo suave. Bonito. I mean, if we take this out and wield it, si sacamos esta, empieza a usarlo, everybody's going to get mad. Todos se van a enojar. Is that not what Christ told us? No es lo que Cristo nos dijo? If they hated me, they're going to hate you even more. Si me aborrecen a mí, van a aborrecer a ti aún más. You have been armed to stand firm. Estás armado a parar firmes. Do not be the kid that enjoys the house that was built on a dangerous arm, uh, a, a, a dangerous weapon. No seas el niño que está disfrutando la casa que fue construido con un arma peligroso, but never wields it, pero nunca lo usa. Use it. Úsalos. Second, segundo. There's a great consequence for falling. Hay un gran consecuencia caer. The one who perseveres to the end will be saved. El quien persevera hasta el fin será salvo. The one who puts his hands to the plow and looks back is not fit for the kingdom of heaven. El quien pone sus manos sobre el rado y mira atrás no está apto para el reino de cielos. Not all who say to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. No todo el mundo que dice, Señor, Señor, entrará en el reino de los cielos. But the one who does the will of my Father is in heaven. Pero el quien hace la voluntad de mi Padre que está en cielo. Here's the danger for the church. This is the peligro por la iglesia. The lampstand will be removed. La lámpara será quitada. Heard three churches this week. Escuché tres iglesias esta semana. After everything that's gone on, it's better that we don't open again. Después de todo lo que pasa, es mejor que no abramos ya. Terrible. Terrible. Sad reality is this. Realidad triste es eso. When we as Christians don't use our arms, 
cuando nosotros como cristianos no usamos nuestras armas, que we, we deny the arms so many times, porque negamos las armas muchas veces. We miss joy of the dinner with the king. Nosotros perdemos el gozo del, del cena con el Señor. We've been brought to the table. Sido traído a la mesa. Whatever your reason is for leaving your arms, lo que es tu razón de dejar tu arma, to go after whatever pleasure para buscar cualquier placer, it's not worth it. No vale la pena. It only steals, kills, and destroys. Solo mata, roba, y destruye. And reason number three, reason number tres. There is a great reward in standing firm. Hay un gran recompense de pararse firmes. There, there is great reward when you've lasted to the end. Hay un gran recompense a los que persevera hasta fin. We stand before the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Paramos en frente del Rey de Reyes y Señor de Señores. And we hear y escuchamos. Well done, good and faithful servant. Bien hecho, fiel servidor. The question for the church is this. La pregunta de la iglesia es eso. Is that enough? ¿Es eso suficiente? Is that, is that enough for you? ¿Es suficiente para ti? To make war on Satan and the world, hacer guerra en contra de Satanás y el mundo, to risk everything, arriesgarte todo, to risk losing everything, arriesgar perdiendo todo, only to hear, well done, solo escuchar bien hecho. Is that enough for you? ¿Es suficiente para ti? It's only enough for the one who's been bought. Solo es suficiente a el quien sido comprado. What will you do, church? ¿Qué harás, iglesia? The command is that you stand firm. El mandamiento es que paras firme. Now, I want to tell you the context here. Quiero decirte el contexto to, to finish, para terminar. Paul's not talking about when there's a group of Muslims with machine guns outside the door. Pablo no está hablando de cuando hay un grupo de musulmanes con armas afuera. Will you stand firm there? Vas a parar firme ahí. He is talking about when you are alone. Está hablando cuando estás solo. When there's no one there to say, don't do it. Cuando hay no hay nadie ahí a decir, no lo hagas. When you are by yourself. Cuando estás solo. And he comes attacking. Y él viene atacando. Do you make provisions for the flesh? Or do you make provisions to flee from him? ¿Haces provisiones por la carne o haces provisiones de salir de él, huir de él? Do you make provisions in your life that you can wield the sword of the word of God? ¿Haces provisiones en tu vida para que tú puedas usar la espada de la palabra de Dios en tu vida? If you're reading the Bible reading plan, si estás leyendo el plan de lectura, Tomorrow, we start Psalm 119. Mañana empezamos Salmo 119. The whole psalm is about guarding God's word in our heart. Todo el salmo se trata de guardar la palabra de Dios en nuestra alma. Why do you think the longest chapter in the Bible is about that? ¿Por qué crees que el capítulo más largo en toda la Biblia se trata de esto? Because when you don't, porque cuando no lo haces, you've left your sword. Has dejado tu arma, and you will be beat. Serás vencido.
by the grace and mercy of God, por la gracia y misericordia de Dios, we have been armed for battle. Hemos sido armados por la batalla. Stand firm. Pues estar firme. Do not give an inch. No rindas ni una pulgada. You can only do that. Communing with the king. Solo puedes hacer esta comunión, teniendo comunión con el rey. Let's pray, oramos. Father, we thank you that in your grace and your mercy you have armed us. Dios, te damos gracias que tú en tu bondad y misericordia nos has armado. Dios, yo pido que tú das a la iglesia la fuerza de convicción para no dejar las ar armas, para estar firme en contra de los planes del diablo, para que nosotros podamos vencer y salir victoriosos. En nombre de Cristo, sus oramos. Amén.